moving bits and bytes around your home. Computer networking allows you to browse the internet, stream music from one location to another, and much more. Save yourself the pain of weak wireless signals, slow internet browsing, and other problems through these useful tips. Tip number one, cables are still useful. With all the talk about wireless networking, you might assume that cables are ancient. Not true. If two computers are in the same room, it's easy to use network cables to attach them to one another. Networking cable, commonly called CAT5 or Ethernet, is reliable, cheap, and it offers very high speeds. Put simply, use cables if you can. Tip number two, don't expect a wireless network to have the advertised range or speed. True wireless range and speed can vary widely depending on the system you purchase and how much interference is present in and around your home. Wireless devices can potentially conflict with neighbors' wireless networks and can even be knocked out by cordless phones or microwave ovens. Tip number three, use wireless security. A wireless network without security potentially offers your neighbors access to sensitive files on your home network or gives them free web browsing, potentially slowing down your internet access. Additionally, someone near your home could use your insecure wireless network to do bad stuff on the internet. And guess whose door the authorities will show up at? WPA, Wireless Protected Access, is a good form of security but always use a strong password. Tip number four, use switches and routers properly. A switch essentially takes data on one network cable in your home and transfers it to another. For example, if you're using a network music player in the den to listen to music from your computer in your home office, the switch directs the data around your home. If you run into a situation where you have one network cable and multiple devices you want to connect to it, use a switch. A router essentially separates and protects your home from the internet. Many routers also include a built-in switch so they can not only connect you to the internet, but also direct traffic between computers within your home. Tip number five, think beyond cables and wireless. Believe it or not, you can turn the electrical wiring in your home into a giant network called power line networking. A major advantage of power line networking is the fact that you have a network jack at every plug in your home and you get reasonably fast speeds. However, power line networking still doesn't give you the freedom of a wireless network, and it also requires a small adapter at each outlet you'd like to use for networking. Tip number six, share your printing and storage. Many devices such as printers and hard disks can be directly connected to your network, eliminating the need to be tethered to your computer. A shared printer can be especially useful if you're moving around your home on a wireless network or have multiple computers. A networked hard drive can act as a shared repository for content such as music, photos, and movies, and it also gives multiple people in your home an easy place to back up important files. With these basic networking building blocks, you'll quickly be on your way to a modern networked home.